All right, welcome back. Gonna do some more fishing sim world. Gonna kind of do this out of order here. Uh, I think I've got a good feel right now for the championship level. Um, and as you can see from where I'm at with the tournament points, I'm working my way up to the 100,000 tournament point boat. Um, so I thought I'd share some of what I'm using uh, to kind of help you uh, as you progress. So gonna go into single player, gonna do tournament mode again. Uh, of course, I'm going bass fishing. Uh, I have been playing around with Predator some, uh, but we're gonna be doing the Elite Bass Championship. Uh, 20 minutes, heavy rain. Uh, this has proven to be a pretty hard tournament. Uh, just to give you an idea, I mean, a 20 pound stringer is normally gonna get you the win. So uh, you can kind of see, uh, go back here, kind of see my stats. I've got five wins here now. Uh, one second place finish, one third. So like I said, I'm feeling pretty confident about where I'm at in this tournament. Um, and I just wanted to share this with you. So it's a 3,000 tournament point entry fee. Um, so definitely you're, you're risking some, but the reward obviously is 15,000. So uh, it's still the five time payoff that you get from any of the tournaments in the Bass Series. Um, so I think there's, a, but I think there's a, a bigger ROI. Actually, the ROI is exactly the same. Uh, so scratch that, but you get bigger chunks of money as you're heading towards more expensive purchases. So. With that in mind, again, trying to grind my way to 100,000 tournament points, probably gonna try to get up to 110, 115 before I actually make the purchase on the boat. Uh, but just show you where I've been. So I've, uh, a couple places I've had some luck. Um, right here, actually, in this cut screen, uh, the lily pads on the right and the left, I have had luck there. Uh, inconsistent, though. Uh, so I found a place that's been giving me a little bit more consistency. Uh, it's out of the initial boat launch here. And we're going to be going down and to the right. So there's that little island you can see hanging out there. There's a there's a set of lily pads down there uh, that consistently yields five to ten pound fish on the frog. So um, I think uh, you know using that uh, using the the uh, twitch uh, feature uh, definitely seems to help. But we're going to go out here. You can see the island right there. Um, and as we get closer, you're going to notice there's some cattails. There's a, a bunch of little spot islands. Um, and there's gonna be some uh, lily pads set up there uh, that are just phenomenal for fishing. So what I did find is when I went out in the waters between the island uh, and the lily pads, I was running into a mess of walleye. Uh, it took a long time to get them landed. Uh, good, strong fighting fish, but you can see up here on the right, we're starting to get into it some already. Uh, we've got some of those little spot islands I was talking about. But as we get further along here towards the shore, you're going to notice lily pads. So uh, this is the area I've been fishing right here on this point. Um, and I've been going out and you can see even right there a fish working. Uh, so we're going to give ourselves plenty of room and we're going to get in here, but I've been fishing right off this point. So uh, again, my, uh, my favorite uh, lure here, uh, as in all lily pads, is the frog. Uh, nice slow retrieval. Um, I think makes the most sense. Uh, and gonna start off with a wonderful cast. Um, but where I've been catching the 10 pounder, so there's that just that edge of the lily pads there. Uh, actually a little to my right um, is where I found the most, but I dial it back to one. I give it some twitches here just to kind of get them started. Little start stop action on the uh, L2 button there. And you can see they pick up right away. So um, some of the strike quality when you're using the twitch isn't as high, uh, but we're not going to have that problem, at least with this uh, particular one. So let's see if we've got, we've got a bass. And uh, they do, they do tend to run. This is a very light colored bass. Um, so they don't, uh, if they stay between you and the uh, shoreline, they don't, it, it tends to be a very easy land uh, and very quick. Uh, where I've had some issues is if they run out to open water uh, can really be a challenge because they will dive back in uh, and your line slack uh, isn't actually tight enough. Um, so just something to watch for. Again, I do play with the drag pretty much all the time, uh, but we're going to start off, I'm guessing probably what, oh, six pound, 10 ounce. Not a bad way to start off. So again, uh, this is actually the cast that I've caught that 10 pounder on a few times. Would be if I didn't uh, have such a terrible cast there. Uh, but we're going to see if we can do anything with it. Uh, a lot of times right up close to the boat here. 
you can uh, get something like that. So there does tend to be quite a few pickerel down here. And uh, so I have, I've gotten a number of those out of these lily pads as well. The good thing is, is they're a quick catch. So you don't have to worry, but this looks like it's going to be a good fish. Um, definitely is, has the fight of a bass. see where we're at so 16 pounds already and and honestly sometimes that's enough weight to actually take this tournament um, with the rain the totals tend to be very low um, so this is so far going about as well as I could ask now one of the things that does happen from time to time is your fishing will just fall off a cliff um, but I've noticed an increase in the ability to get strikes uh, since using that twitch so especially in cases where you can see where the fish is coming from you can stop twitching right before they strike definitely helps uh, but even if you get a poor hook set like I said really being active with the drag uh, does tend to help and uh, has, has proven uh, very valuable in uh, landing big fish on poor strikes um, Still don't have an answer for when the strike comes directly back towards the boat. Um, but uh, that tends to be uh, a moot point really with the twitch. Uh, they tend to hit it hard and run with it as opposed to just kind of take it and, and slowly work their way back towards you. So um, that, that really does help quite a bit. So I'm feeling very confident right now. I'm going to be honest with you. This is going better than it normally does. Uh, I don't have this sort of strike count this early uh, in most of the tournaments. So uh, I think there's a good chance I'm going to walk away with a W, especially if this is a bass. It doesn't appear to be. It's going to be a walleye, I think. Um, so my weight total probably isn't going to change a whole lot. Um, Yeah, that's what I thought. So uh, again, I'm going to keep fishing to my left. I, I have noticed when I get over to that other area, there does tend to be uh, more walleye, like I said, out in the channel as well. Um, so this time I'm going to, I'm just going to skirt the uh, the lily pads here, a little bit more open water, but you're close enough. The bait's still effective. Uh, every so often, I'll switch over to a shad. I've actually liked the uh, the rattle trap, the uh, gizzard shad has, has proven very valuable. Um, more so in open water, but um, even close to pads and, and other natural structures. So uh, it's been a good good bait. Really found its way into my rotation. Uh, so that's going to help a little. I mean, two pound bass, nothing to write home to mom about, but uh, could be worse. Like I said, it doesn't take much weight in this tournament to uh, to win. If I get over 20 pounds, I, I'm normally pretty confident. I do notice w Lucy Wolf uh, does tend to be your primary competition in this tournament. Um, and she's a lot of times between 15 and 20 pounds. So uh, especially if you're over 20 pounds, you get into 21, and and I don't think I've ever lost with uh, more than 21. I don't always get to 21, which has been the challenge. Um, I'm not sure what I've got here. Doesn't seem fast enough to be a bass yet. Yeah, I think I've got another walleye. Um, which does tend to be the challenge in this lake. Uh, they do take up quite a bit of time bringing them in. If I'm certain a lot of times that I've got a walleye on there and I'm not uh, entirely certain yet. Um, I'm going to level with you here. I've got a color deficiency. 
So it's very hard for me to see the, uh, the fish in the water, even the outline. That definitely looks like a walleye to me. Uh, but with it being darker like that, it really is hard for me to make out the shape. So uh, if you're colorblind like I am, uh, you'll, I'm sure you understand. If not, you're probably going, what the hell is he talking about? So um, I'm going to move a little bit here, come down towards this next set of pads. Uh, you can see there's a fish working right there. Um, so, and again, just doing the same thing I've been doing with the frog. Uh, getting it in there and doing the twitch and seeing if we can't get some bass um, to hit it. So again, very early in the tournament, still 11 minutes left. Having an 18 pound stringer definitely helps. Um, but like I said, this is that area where I did catch that 10 pounder um, and I've caught him a couple times. It seems like he's a recurring fish and uh, does just wonders for helping you win this tournament. I mean, if you can get a full five, uh, even if the others are two pounds each, you're looking at an 18 pound stringer. And I can see I've got a big bass there. Um, I can see the uh, silhouette. I'm just looking for that strike. And I saw the fish working and now he's completely disappeared. So I might fish a little to my left this next time. See how that goes, because he, uh, he didn't take the bait. Oh, but he almost did, and you can see the size of that fish. That was a, that, that's probably that 10 pounder. Um, so again, uh, 10 yards here. I'm gonna try to see if I can get that thing to hit, and I am, Yep, and you can see he's already back at it. And there's a couple uh, couple really big fish. It looks like walleye and bass both. That's the walleye. And you can see that was a big fish, and I think it's a walleye just based on the way it's not running fast enough. Uh, that's one of the things I've noticed is the run speed really seems to be the indicator in terms of well, for me being colorblind, uh, what I've got for a fish on. Um, but you could see in this area, there's, there's several walleye, there's several bass. I'm gonna just keep pounding this area. Uh, I think it'll be, I'll, I'll definitely have enough of a uh, weight total, uh, even with having to deal with the walleye uh, to win this tournament. Although it looks like everybody's fishing is going far better than it, I'm used to seeing. Uh, in this tournament so uh, hopefully I've got the winning combination here but that is a nice walleye um, I will say the one thing I wish they did in this game more is, is especially in the uh, tournament mode is let you see what you're catching and I get it it's a 20 minute timed event and they don't want to waste your time uh, I appreciate that obviously uh, for what it is and this is a bass and this is going to be this is going to be enough to win the tournament i mean really uh with eight minutes to go very confident about where i'm at right now as long as i don't lose this fish um i'm good and you can tell again uh i just got surpassed uh as i'm trying to land this fish but i would be very surprised if this didn't do it i mean i'm, I'm looking at what i'm guessing is probably a four to seven pound fish here based on the fight. So I should be sitting somewhere around 22, 23, yep. Uh, and again, so, and again, really just hammering this spot, but I've got a five pound lead right now with seven minutes. Uh, feel very comfortable with that. And, uh, of course, always looking to add more. Um, but I think the, the key here is that, uh, you know, you have a good start like that. You get on, you get on the fish early uh, when you're not hunting. And you get some good weights. Uh, starting off with a six, seven pounder. It's a good way, it's a good way to start a tournament. Uh, high probability of success. 
And I've really been focusing on that lately, um, that, that probability of success is key. And I can tell I've got a ton of walleye over here. Um, and he he's just toying with it. I don't know if I've got another bass around here, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to uh, catch a walleye here. But I think that was a bass there at the end. It was. So I'm gonna cast back. I noticed there's a fish working over here. I'm gonna cast into the reeds on the shore. Um, I think I've got one more bass over here. I think I can up my total just a little. Uh, and I missed the bass and I got that little walleye, I think. Actually, I don't know what it is. Um, see if my weight total goes up. It does not. Um, I apologize for all the times I'm saying I'm here. Uh, really just one of the things I'm trying to work on. I'm obviously not a uh, famous person uh, by any stretch. I'm not a, I wouldn't even say I'm a good gamer. Um, but you can see the fish that were congregated around that lure, and I've got the same situation I had last time. Um, I do think there's something to be said for, for pounding this area like I've been doing. Uh, again, a little worried that the gap is close to two pounds. Um, not used to seeing that. But we'll make do. Again, I, I feel like I'm not going to finish with 23 pounds at this point. stuck all right so I'm gonna move the boat just a little to come back across that area and you can see all the fish there on the finder I mean this is a a target rich environment as they like to say and uh, we'll get that knocked down to a three and Be honest with you would have preferred a longer cast there and I'm hoping maybe yes ooh gotta turn that drag down And you can see the field has really narrowed the gap. So apparently I'm not the uh, only one having a better than average day. That looks like a good bass. And uh, I think that's going to be enough to bump my uh, weight total one more time. And if I, I, I believe if I land this fish uh, again, this is, the, uh, this is the win. So with three minutes to go, it's harder and harder to improve on those totals. Oh my, and that got me to 32 pounds. So you can see that's a huge jump. Like there's no way I'm losing this now. I mean, wow. So wasn't expecting that. Um, almost a 10 pound fish. It may be the same one that I was telling you about earlier uh, that I've been catching over here. Uh, but that's why I love this spot. Um, never seems to, never seems to leave me coming up empty-handed. And a, a thirty-pound stringer. I've got another bass. I mean, I may even improve on that yet again. Um, this is a, this is a. Uh, this is what I was hoping for <laughs> when I when I talked about coming down here. So don't be afraid to move a little. Um, again, if you're in one of those situations like I was, where you're getting a lot of, uh, you're seeing a lot of bass, but you're also seeing a lot of walleye, uh, just changing your angle slightly. Um, 
I'm not completely relocating. I got to this spot as quick as I could. Uh, this is another walleye, I think. Yeah. But like I said, everybody is having a good day. I can't remember the last time on this lake I saw a competitor with a stringer over 25 pounds. Uh, I literally lost one time with a 14 pound stringer. Or I, I lost to a, a uh, AI with a uh, 14 pound stringer. So this lake can be very challenging at times. Um, and apparently can be Good at others. Um, and I'll be honest, I'm not used to seeing those sorts of totals. Um, again, with five pounds, 45 seconds to go, feel good about where I'm at. But I may not be as confident the next time I, uh, I have a 25 pound stringer. Um, I can see a big walleye there, other fish as well. I don't know who's going to be the one that finally takes the bait, if anybody does. No hits, but hey, we're going to win, and that's what I wanted to show you this spot for, so that you can take home the win in single player mode. Again, I feel real. I mean, almost 33 pounds on that stringer. Uh, but that's what I've been grinding for, to get that 15,000 tournament points. Obviously, you're throwing 3,000 in, so that's a big win to get that. And you can see my points totals at the end of this are uh, going to be pretty solid. So I'm getting real close to being able to get the, uh, I think it's the, I can't remember what the name of the uh, boat is, but uh, I know it's 100,000 tournament points. So, and I've got 77,000, and I'm looking at the Lynx, the Bass Cat Lynx. So that 70 miles an hour is going to help you get to where you need to go faster. Um, that's more time you're fishing. So don't know that it will have any other benefits other than that. Uh, but I've got a very good tackle box going right now. A lot of lines, a lot of different rod and reel combinations. Starting to get into some of the predator fishing and I may uh, do the tournament progression in that. But I'm going to come back and do the other, uh, other two tournaments between the first one that I put the video out for and this one. So. Uh, if you like this, please hit the subscribe button. Check out my real fish tank. You can see my aquarium online. Um, I, I post a lot of videos. I'm going to be posting a lot of more. I'm, I'm in the process of uh, trying to build a 3,000 gallon tank. So uh, some challenges with that right now. It's going to be a while, but uh, I definitely have the 180 going right now. I've got my two smallmouth in there. I've got uh, my spotted gar, um, and I've got a channel cat that's about 22 inches long. So. Uh, check that out. It's a great planted aquarium. I put feeding videos on there. You can see them hit the minnows. Um, and, uh, you know, watch me play the game and, and I can hopefully give you some tips uh, to help you. And if, uh, if you've got some tips for me, throw them in the comments. Thanks for watching.